Alicia McFarlane with your news briefing. A Sydney mother killed in the SeaWorld helicopter crash on the Gold Coast has been laid to rest today. Vanessa Tadros was among four people killed when two choppers collided earlier this month, with pilot Ashley Jenkinson already farewelled last week. Meantime, Vanessa's 10-year-old son, who was also on board, is responding well to treatment after being taken off life support. Australia has recorded stronger jobs growth in the past six months than any other world economy. More than 230,000 Aussies have found work. Treasurer Jim Chalmers says we should all be proud of the figures. As the global economy has been slowing, our jobs growth in Australia has been accelerating. Even as global conditions deteriorated in the back half of last year, even as our challenges grew, more and more jobs were created. Airline consultants believe the pilots of a plane that crashed in Nepal yesterday likely lost control of the aircraft. At least 68 of the 72 passengers on board were killed in the tragedy. One passenger was an Australian. Foreign Affairs is urgently investigating. A fire in WA Southwest that destroyed a home over the weekend remains contained but isn't under control. A watch and act alert remains in place for parts of Donnybrook and surrounding areas. As the cost of living continues to be a struggle for many Aussie families, Coles has reduced its prices on a range of essential items until after Easter, including tissues, cereal and chicken. Join the community that helps make wishes come true. Visit makeawish.org.au to make your donation today. That's makeawish.org.au. In sport, massive news from the Australian Open. Aussie tennis star Nick Kyrgios has been forced to withdraw from the Grand Slam event due to a knee injury. The man himself admits he's devastated but injuries are a part of the sport. Obviously I'm just exhausted from everything and obviously pretty brutal. Um, you know, one of the most important tournaments in my career and so it hasn't been easy at all. It means he won't be able to defend his men's doubles title with the Nasi Kokonakis. And good news for the doggies. Sam Darcy is back training with the main group. He's been dealing with a knee infection. Buying or selling rural or residential properties? Villa one and John. This is SAFM Weather. A sunny afternoon across the limestone coast, 15 degrees overnight. A medium chance of rain tomorrow, 37. Want more local news? Get free breaking news about our community. Download the Listener app, search for your town and add to your favourites now.